I fear tears welling up in my eyes, but I blink them back. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't be crying over something like this. Jot is a meanie butt! Hey guys, it's Ren! And Lid. And we're you back. You can tell how backstage. excited I am. <laughs> I am excited simply because I get to see you freak out a lot. Ugh. <sighs> But also, this makes been, me very uncomfortable. I don't think I've been dreading something as much as, like, er since Eric introduced me. I really don't think <laughs> I have. I'm like, even like even the Count, I was I was hyping him up to be bad, but like, nah, he was great. But, no. Seduced me, Eric was... I, I'm sorry, I'm saying it. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> well, I hope this is not terrible. Yep, if, um, if you can't, Look, if you haven't already guessed. An 18-year-old and a 35-year-old is concerning, and I'm really hoping that, like, it's at least kind of tastefully done. I... Because I like this game, and I want it to be good, but I'm concerned. I have very low expectations for this route, for a lot of reasons, but also because what kind of 35-year-old is dating an 18-year-old? A bad yeah, what one. the hell? <laughs> a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're just gonna get started. Yay! We're just our judgments out there early, so you guys understand. <laughs> Sometimes I question my life decisions. Exactly. <sighs> Sometimes I question my life decisions. Tomorrow's my first day of college. It's past 11 p.m. And instead of sleeping, I'm at an Adam Eaton concert one state away from my college campus. Unlike the teenagers out in the audience screaming for an encore, though. I'm the girl backstage dusting Adam's face with another coat of powder before he heads back out, because he needs it. Done. Now get back out there, Rockstar. Thanks. You're a winner every time, Sean. I'm a winner! Adam salutes me quickly before he runs out on stage. You guys want an encore? Adam poses on stage, holding his mic out to the audience. It's as if he can't hear their response. The girls scream and the boys cheer, all of them chanting for him to sing another song. Well, who am I to say no to all of you? Well, oh, what's Adam? As the track to his number one hit for today starts up, the roar of the crowd peaks. With a wild, well, wide, with a wide smile on his face, Adam launches into his hit single and the audience sings along. As the lights in the concert hall flash, I catch glimpses of audience members dancing to the beat of the song. Backstage, I mouth the lyrics along with everyone else. I've heard the song a thousand times, but it's still infectious. The song ends too quickly for the audience's taste, but Adam bids them a good night and thanks them for coming out to see him. He runs off the stage and high fives one of the sound crew before bounding over to me. Good work, Adam. One of the passing crew members gives him a cheerful thumbs up. Thanks. Adam returns the gesture. I pull out some makeup remover and begin wiping his face clean. The summer tour is almost over. Only one more to go. Already? Wait, that means school starts tomorrow. Give him a gentle chop on the head. Don't tell me you forgot. He winces as if my tap actually inflicted some amount of pain on him. I figured if I didn't think about it, it would just go away. Try not thinking about world hunger sometime. Maybe that'll work. Adam folds his arms crossly and glares at me, but he can't keep it up for very long, and eventually his pout melts into a grin. Don't make fun of me. I laugh as I pack away the last of my brushes into the large metal case that houses my makeup kit. I didn't say a thing. You thought it, though. And don't deny it. I've known you too long for you to be able to lie to me anymore. Anyway, I gotta go find John. Yeah, I'll see you on the bus. Adam jogs off in search of... John. <laughs> and I drag my makeup case out of the way. I like how, um, in contrast to the Eric, it's just John said very sadly. <laughs> I mean, I could scream John, but like, I feel like I'm gonna save most of that for when I really need it. Mm -hmm. My phone chirps out a cheery tune and I answer it. Happy school day! School day? Ow, I bit my tongue. <laughs> School day. 
school oh, no. starts tomorrow, so we're calling to do our good luck cheer. Don't, don't you think I'm a little old for this? You're never too old for us to love you. And I'm never too old for a good luck cheer. I'm waving a flag with your name on it. Can you hear it? <laughs> I hear the faint sound of paper flopping against the phone on the other end. <laughs> I hear it. So, how's Adam? Oh, you know, energetic, happy, totally didn't remember school starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's a good thing he's got you to look out for him. And how are you? Did you find everything okay? Sure did. Your new campus is lovely, and we did our best to make your dorm look like your bedroom at home. Sorry to make you handle all of that for me. I didn't realize the summer tour would overlap with freshman orientation. The school said it's fine as long as you go see your advisor, Hitman Kovalt. Uh, yeah, don't implant your silly nickname in her head like that. It's Professor Kovalt, and your dad thinks that he looks like a hitman. Don't you see it? Come on, the suit, the stern look. Dad affects a mock serious voice. Missing orientation will put your daughter at a severe disadvantage. Take care that she is diligent with her studies. Doesn't that sound ominous to you? A little, but it's his job to say that. I still say he's secretly a hitman when he's not teaching. I bet at night he... Anyway. Mom interjects before Dad can finish his strange speculation. We just wanted to let you know we're proud of you, and we're cheering for you. Thanks, I'll talk to you later. We love you! I hang up and tuck my phone away in my pocket. Most of the crew has already finished packing up. I grab my makeup case and head for the bus. Summer tour is almost over and school's about to start. I don't know what the year holds for me, but whatever it is, I'm ready! I'm not, Sean. I'm envious of you. Stage pass. All right, I'm going to skip. The yes, the please, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Benito. I'm like, it's one of those games where you, you know, we like yeah. get to replay so much of the same Look, you can stuff to get new stuff. And it's what? like, oh my God. Like, I love you backstage pass. I've, I have there a lot of issues with your stat raising. But I'm also like, oh my god, all of these scenes that we have to go through again. Uh, well, nope. They're despite. Well, <laughs> are you uh, Benito? Well, yeah. Uh, it's you remember Benito when we had that gag about the plant? Because I didn't know <laughs> what a plant was. Hey. Oh. Remember when we found out you were 15 and our lives came and, crumbling down. Oh. Yep. Remember when we found out John was 35 and our lives also came crumbling down? <laughs> Not because we care about John, because we knew we'd have to do him. So that Remember is when Adam hey, you, in what, trouble. What 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Do He's in the hospital. I'm, I'm what? I, now, I'm, oh, I was about to say, remember when Adam, and then I'm like, well, actually, we haven't sure. dated Adam yet, so we don't have John anything to go off of that's not just Excellent. friendship. Of course, remember I when Adam had never seen whole... Snow? How are you? you I've I've played Adam's uh, route before, it's... so oh, I know. Well, I have it. So, and I get to watch you fall in love with the fictional boy again. I'm sure and it'll, it'll be happen. nice because he's a very sweet boy. I'm ready for it. I am. I'm just. We have to go through this shit stage first. And yet you're a <laughs> Look, I'm giving up. Hard. I'm pressing the fucking skip button. That might be too harsh. Oh no! Here he comes. <laughs> But here What's he doing? Comes. Here comes he's John. Really John, in. he's a demon on. Here Fedora's. comes John Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he doesn't wear fedoras on his feet. Wear shoes, but shoes doesn't sound nice. Enough. <laughs> he's a demon, and he's gonna I'm be chased <laughs> after an eighteen-year-old. I'm not lying. If you don't let me in, don't make me use force. The guard draws himself up to full height. Before I know it, I've already shrunk away from him. Asshole. Our conflict has attracted an even larger group of spectators. One girl jabs her friend in the ribs. Get your phone and record this. It's hilarious. I'm totally posting That's this to YouTube. It's not hilarious. You're a jerk. My heart tightens and I suddenly find it hard to breathe. My brain begins to race as soon as I realize what's happening. I have to get out of here before things get worse. I take a halting step away from the guard, but a firm hand rests on my shoulder. It's all right. She's in. John! John drapes his arm over my shoulder, pulling me towards his chest affectionately. I just stare at the ground, because I can't bear to look at him. Dear this God, what Adam's is up makeup. with my eyes? This girl's Adam's makeup artist. She's on the list. His eyes twinkle, and he gives me an approving nod. The security guard looks disappointed. I wonder if he's looking forward to throwing me out. I give the, cra uh, the guard a small, apologetic smile, but he doesn't make eye contact. John stares off into the distance, wondering where he's gone Sorry wrong with about his that. life. Sorry about that, Mr. Brandon. You know how it is. That I do, and we're mighty grateful you're so strict. John gives him a quick salute. Oh, I haven't been saying John right. Sorry. John! Pats my shoulder. So, shall we head inside? I'm sure Adam's waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> the security guard steps aside to let the two of us in. Thanks. John's mad. <sighs> I turn to offer Jan my thoughts, but his expression is dark and he just, he's become Jan. Just Why didn't Jan. You call? I gave you my mobile number for a reason. Oh, right. I figured he gave it to me out of politeness more than anything else. I'm sorry, I didn't want to bother you. Well, that's he not true He has more pinstripes all. on his shirt now than he did in the CG. Yes, it is. His face tightens for a moment. Did I see something wrong? Sean, do you know what bothers me? Uh, not having not a makeup artist? Makeup artist being me. a decent human Getting being? A ring on the phone? Not so much. I didn't have a choice. That guard... The guard was doing his job. What about you? You looked ready to turn tail and hide when a simple call would have set everything right. I fear tears welling up in my eyes, but I blink them back. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't be crying over something like this. John is a meanie butt! I'm gonna call him a different name every time his name comes up. <laughs> my breathing is getting shallower. The words I want to say stick in my throat, but I finally manage to speak. Butt-faced miscreant! I'm... Kind of shy about. That's not shyness, it's selfishness. You're uncomfortable doing something, so instead of pushing through, you hide behind your own insecurity. His voice is so cold. He doesn't even sound angry, just tired. I'm not the one who chose you. Adam did. And you were about to let him down. At the mention of Adam's name, I suddenly feel my temper flare up. Shut up! I step in front of him and spin around to block his way. Jebediah eyes me with a mixture of disappointment <laughs> and wariness. I can feel the tears heating up in my eyes again. But Jeremy either doesn't notice or care. <laughs> what do you want, Sean? Should I coddle you and tell you it's okay to run away? I'm not your nanny. I want you to shut up! I 
clench my fists, holding myself back from the punch I so dearly want to place in his face. Jonah sighs and places his hands in his pockets. Hook's resigned as if he's given up on me. Suit yourself. He walks past me without even making eye contact. Job and I, I hate that all these names are fucking from the Bible. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I'm quickly running out. And I haven't traded many words before. This is probably the longest conversation we've had. This is the only conversation we've had now that I think about it. And I already hate him. Yo, same girl. Same. After a few steps, Jesus stops and stares at the bright lights of this young. <laughs> he turns his head slightly and rolls his eyes in my direction. Adam's down there, by the way. Try not to be late. He turns and walks down the hall without bothering to wait for my response. I relax my fists and take a deep breath, trying to subdue my anger. As I watch Joseph walk away, I can feel they're all biblical names. (laughs) I can feel my fingers curling up tight into a fist again. I swear to God, I'm like running out of J names and literally my brain's just like, uh, who is someone from the Bible? Like, who is Jesus' dad? Who is Jesus? Judas, James, Jimmy, Jim Jam. Why do I only think of biblical names? (laughs) I turn on my heel and stalk towards Adam's dressing area. I slam my makeup case into the ground with a frustrated grunt. Whoa. Adam takes a small step back as soon as he sees my face. What happened? I swallow hard and attempt to smile. Sorry, the security guard wouldn't let me in. And then? John let me in. (laughs) I grit my teeth as I say his name. Is that all? Adam searches my face carefully. I quickly wipe a stray tear still hanging in the corner of my eye. If only he were clean enough to spit upon. There, now that's all. That bad, huh? There was a big crowd out front, and the security guard looked like he wanted to send me to jail. I nearly had a panic attack. Does John know about you and crowds? I shake my head. I don't want him pitying me, but then he had to come save me anyway, and I almost cried. I'm so stupid. Don't say that. You're the smartest person I know. Thanks, but that doesn't change what happened. I've been worrying about Dad all day and trying not to. Add that to trying to figure out finances, and I guess this just kind of pushed me over the line of all things. I pull out my makeup case and open it with a sigh. (sighs) We'd better get you ready. I'm late enough as it is. Adam nods and sits down. He knows better than to try to push the issue. As I wipe Adam's face clean, I can tell he still wants to ask me something. Yes? So, about your dad... Oh, yeah. Uh, they still don't know what happened, but he's stable. My anger quickly dissolves at the thought of my father safe and alive. Adam's shoulders relax and he smiles. Good. It's been on my mind all day, you know. You don't have to worry about us. Your dad's a cool guy, and you're my best friend. Of course I'm gonna worry. I- I know, it's just... Adam groans and cuts me off. It's just nothing. I'm going to worry about you whether you like it or not. How many years have we known each other? I kind of lost count. Exactly. So none of this don't worry about me nonsense. He stands and brushes himself off. Anyway, it's go time. Gives me a thumbs up. Wish me luck. Like you need it. Adam waves and heads to the stage wing. I can hear crowds of people chattering excitedly. The minute Adam stepped onto the stage, they erupt into a cheer. I pull out a book from my bag. Once I prefer to watch the show, I've got to study hard now and keep up my grades. That grant depends on it. It's hard to pay attention to the reading, though. My mind is still swimming with thoughts about what Joel said. That's not shyness. It's- oh, sorry, sorry. That's not shyness. It's selfishness. (laughs) Crumpets. My muscles have tightened up again. I can't believe he managed to make me so angry in a short amount of time. I run my fingers through my hair and pace back and forth. I know I shouldn't be so quick to pass judgment, but... 
What am I even doing here? My question is swallowed by the pounding music and the cheers of the music winds down and Adam jogs backstage. Exuberant. Another good show. I brush aside my dismal thoughts and offer Adam an encouraging smile. You know it! He throws himself in his chair and moans. I'm so tired, though. Do I really have to go to school tomorrow? He rolls his head back and sighs. You're the one who said you could handle it. Well, you should have stopped me. Yeah, like I could do that. Give him a gentle tap on the head. How? He rubs the spot on his head sadly. You're gonna make me stupid if you keep hitting me on the head like that. I hold back a smile. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm already stupid. <laughs> I love him. I didn't say a thing. Uh, you didn't have to. I can see it in your eyes. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for you, Adam. <laughs> He smiles and leans towards me. I'm glad you're less worried. He pokes my forehead gently. Beep, beep, you were starting beep, beep, to get beep, wrinkles. Boop. I quickly cover my forehead. Beep. I was not. You definitely were. Adam Eaton, you should know better than to tell a girl she's getting wrinkles. I said you were getting wrinkles, not anymore. The principle still holds. No, I really don't think it does. Well... Are we heading back to campus or what? <laughs> Adam snaps his fingers in mock impatience. You're wasting time, Sean. Fine, fine. I gather up my books and stash them away. I didn't realize you were so worried about the time. You know me. I roll my eyes and he laughs. Come on, let's go back together. Ma. Adam drives him Back to the dorm building and I head straight to my room. My laptop is on my desk. Orange LED blinking slowly. I tap the touchpad and the screen lights up. An icon in the bottom of the screen in front of me. I have a new e email. Ba -ba -da -da. Might be important. Guess I should check it. I stare at the email in shock. Is this sort of, sort of joke? It's a job offer from someone named Lloyd Newton. I look up his name. Whoa, he's the producer and director for Double Agent. My parents love that show. Well, the name is legitimate, but I really hope this isn't some kind of elaborate joke. My cursor hovers over the delete button, but I hesitate. If this is real, it's a great opportunity. Hardly anyone knows who I am or what I do, or even the fact that I'm here. So I guess this is real? I should say I can make it. We don't have a choice. Do away. Yay, 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 yay! Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. Well, on the bright side, looks like I've got work. On the downside, it looks like I'm only going to get four hours of sleep tonight. Ugh. Man, I've only been in college for two days and I'm already planning to skip class. My high school teachers would weep to see me now. I curl up under the covers in my bed. What's done is done. The best I can do now is get a good night's sleep. 